With exactly one month to go before the release of the Platinum DLC, a Platinum Edition of Farming Simulator, Giants gave us another surprise sneak peek at a new feature coming with the DLC, as well as a couple more fact sheets. And we'll go into those in a minute, and I'll tell you why I think there could be more to this sneak peek than Giants letting on. But first, if you want to make sure you are kept up to date with what's happening in Farming Simulator and what's coming with a Platinum DLC, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So without further ado, let's take a look at what Giants is calling hydraulic braking. And I'm not going to read the whole press release because, well, it's not worth it. But they talk about the introduction of field stones and how that has led to bigger and better things. Um, with the Platinum Edition release on November 15th, you will bump into boulders here and there when exploring the woods of Silver Run Forest. Don't worry, they're not too common and will give you tools to stand up to them. You'll probably spot some of them when ma marking trees with spray cans to instruct your friends. Remember, that's a new feature, marking trees. That'll tell people what to cut and what not to cut. So the same thing is you're going to be able to mark boulders, which are going to tell people which ones need to be dealt with. The solution, a hydraulic breaker. We're not talking about the oddly satisfying trend of crushing stuff with a hydraulic press, though. They're talking about the Paladin SBF 750 from the Strike Force of Family Tools. As a manufacturer of hydraulic tools and attachment describes this powerful instrument. And I have seen, I haven't seen a small one like this in real life, but I have seen the big ones and they're pretty impressive. Okay, so if your chosen work site needs to get cleared from rocks, the Paladin tool will do the job. It's satisfying too. FYI, when taking care of special contracts by your neighbors, so again, there are going to be contracts involved with dealing with rocks if you're playing in multiplayer. Um, you'll be able to mark them with flags. All right, Let's Crush It is the next title. Take a skidder loader like the New Holland L318 or C332 of your choosing. Find out more about loading machines and attach the Paladin SFB750. You can attach the hydraulic crusher like any other attachment tool. That's it. You're now ready to crush it, baby. Giant's puns seem to be getting worse, in my opinion. So basically, um, just like removing stumps, you move the skid steer into position, you crush the rock, or you start working on the rock. Ha, they're pebbles now. And this is another sneak peek here of another piece of equipment that is coming with the Platinum DLC, which is the Volvo BM LM841 wheel loader. And you'll be able to scoop up the boulder you just crushed into rocks with the front end loader and the shovel loaded into a trailer and you can earn some extra money from i'm guessing the rock crusher is going to be a feature again as part of the map but there are plenty of mods that take advantage of crushed rocks <coughs> want to know more about the machines of the platinum expansion in our weekly update fact sheet collection we'll show them off one by one now remember the Platinum DLC is free if you have the Seasons Pass. You can buy it independently if you don't have the Seasons Pass. Or if you don't have Farming Simulator at all, you can buy the Platinum Edition of Farming Simulator, which will come with a Platinum DLC and all the base game features. It won't come with the... Well, the other DLCs that are part of the Seasons Pass, but you don't really need to worry about those. All right, without further ado, and before I go into why I think there's more to this rock crushing than there appears, let's take a look at the other equipment that's coming. The first fact sheet, and the one we've kind of known uh, this machine has been in all the previews, 
uh, we've seen it before, but it is the Volvo L200H High Lift. It's a wheel loader. It'll cost you $381,000, 341 horsepower. It has a power shift transmission, 366 liters of diesel and 31 liters of death. We'll travel at 23 miles an hour, which isn't bad. And it weighs a whopping 37.3 tons. I guess it would have to, to be able to lift a load of logs like that. And I'm really, really hoping, based on the previews that we've seen, logs don't randomly fly out of the loader like they do in the base game right now. And next up, we have a classic. We have the Volvo BM 2654 tractor. It is a small tractor, but it's a classic, um, at least if you're from Europe. It'll cost you $88,500. It's 140 horsepower, so it'll do, it's a good starting tractor. It's a manual transmission with 210 liters of fuel. I'm still so used to gallons, especially watching Welka Farms and people like that, Millennial Farmer, <clears throat> having trouble adapting to how many, well, liters versus gallons. That's beside the point. Anyway, this will travel at 21 miles an hour and weighs 7.5 tons. Again, this is something we've seen teased in the trailer for Silver Run Forest. So it's no surprise that it's coming. What I do like about this picture is it gives us a little bit of tease, a little teaser as to the architecture and a little bit more of a panorama of the map. So I think it's looking good. All right, and let's move on to the last fact sheet. All right, so the last fact sheet for this week is, even though um, Silver Run Forest said in North America, this is another European piece of equipment. I'm not sure how widely used it is in North America, and I'm not even going to pronounce the part after Kohler, but it's the Kohler K307C-H plus Ecoflex. It's a yarder. It'll cost you $95,000. It's 225 horsepower, 9.1 tons. Uh, it's got a range of 840 meters. So that's going to stretch for quite a distance across your map. And it weighs 3.0 tons. Now, Giants did preview this a little bit again in their FarmCon live stream and show you how a yard of pulls big trees up a slope. It doesn't tell you any details as to what the maximum tree size is, so I'm kind of curious about that, and I'm sure this isn't going to be the only yarder that's in the game. Again, depending on the size of the trees. What I do like is this one's towed and can be set up pretty much anywhere. Um, I have seen again watching some videos recently on forestry to see how they're done there are some self-propelled yarders so maybe we are going to get one of those just speculation don't take that as granted i just noticed something and i'm just looking at this picture a little bit more in depth at the log that the yarder is pulling down the hill it's actually lifting it instead of dragging it but it is also dimensionally, uh, width-wise, it's quite a bit smaller than the logs you see lying on the ground beside the yarder itself. It'll be interesting to get into the actual playing around with one of those when the time comes. All right, let's move on to, well, we're going to go back to what is, again, my opinion on something that I think is going to be more in-depth than what Giants is letting on right now. And for that, we're going to move back to this screenshot of the New Holland with the hydraulic breaker on the front of it. Now, the title of the blog post was Hydraulic Breaking, but more or less throughout the blog post, they talk about rock crushing. Um, this is where I'm getting into a little bit of speculative territory. 
and saying rock crushing is going to be one of the features or one of the tools um, that hydraulic braking is going to be part of. Now, we also know that giants are including mining in the DLC. There's going to, well, there's going to be a steel mill. We know that for sure. There's going to be an ore mine, an old ore mine. So I'm assuming there's going to be a new ore mine because you need ore for to make metal for the steel. And you also need coal. And depending on where you are and how you get that coal, whether it's an open pit or a deep pit mine, they use hydraulic, or open pit mines use hydraulic braking as well as excavators to get at the coal and break it apart. Again, just speculation on my part. Maybe that's going to be a feature as part of mining, or it's going to be something that's opened up to mining. I'm really hoping that the ore and the coal mines aren't just production facilities that magically make them their products appear. I'm hoping you actually have to do a little bit of work to feed them. So stay tuned. Like I said, make sure you're subscribed. And as more details come out, we will look into, hopefully, before the DLC gets released, what is exactly involved in mining. And that could be another fantastic feature that Giants are keeping, either till the last minute, or will announce when it comes out. Only time will tell, as usual. So again, thank you for watching. Sound off in the comments. Tell me what you think and what you're most excited about for this DLC. Have a great weekend, and we will see you next week. Or, well, now on Monday, hopefully. Take care, Jay.